Hello there everyone and welcome back for another map mod review and today I have a very awesome map to review for you guys today and to showcase. This is an island map consisting of four different islands laid out across the landscape all connected by bridges and low waterways. This is called the Spectacle Island map. Spectacle Island is a 21 field map that consists of four islands, one in which you own, one with viable fields on it and two forestry islands that are covered with trees and you can farm until your heart's content. So yeah, what we're going to do guys is we're going to discuss a few things regarding this map. We'll take a look at any added fruit types, if any, any added products. Take a look at your starting fleet of course and then we will take a tour of the map and see what lies ahead. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this one so stick around and let's get started. Okay guys, here we are over on the map. Once again, this is the Spectacle Island version 1.0. File size is 416 megabytes. So yes, once again, there's 21 fields on this map. And I, f I found it kind of funny because usually when you start a map, you'll notice that you usually start at your house. Wherever your house is located on your farm, that's usually where you uh, where you spawn at. Well, welcome home. <laughs> I just found it kind of funny that this was a spawning point. Oh, we got a little camper home there in a little pickup truck bunch of garbage in the yard yeah not the prettiest of uh, starting positions but uh, I found that kind of comical now the 100 gold challenge gold nugget challenge is also on this map and they made it a little easy for you because there's a big old pile of gold right here there's actually 10 gold pieces right there right off the bat so that'll definitely help you get started because as you know if you did the uh, gold nugget challenge before when you pick up the first 10 pieces it'll tell you where the rest of them are located on the map so that'll definitely help out. But I'm not going to pick them up right now because it'll just kind of clutter up the map. There is the map right there. Actually, let me show you from this vantage point. So up to 21 fields here. You can see that there's, uh, oh, basically there's five islands here. Six if you include this one, I suppose. But yeah, there's a few different islands here. They're all connected by bridges. Now these are roadways as well, but they're in the water, but they're not that deep that you will uh, lose your vehicle. But I thought that was kind of neat, and we will be taking a look at that. Your starting position is right here. Here's your main farm. All your animals are located right here. Now basically this whole island right here is your island. You own all these fields, but there's a little catch to this, and we will uh, go over that shortly. Now this island over here has all the uh, fields that you're going to buy in the game. You already own one, so uh, yeah, you get a field to start here anyway. And these two island locations up here you do own, but these are all covered in trees. This is all going to be forestry up here, guys, and you do have a sawmill down here on the coastline. So yeah, you're really going to like this map. Really beautifully laid out, and yeah, I think you're going to enjoy this one. So, like I said, there's 21 fields on it. You own basically half of them. You have this big uh, grass section down here to do all your mowing. Your spinneries right there. You have a docking station down here for your... looks like you buy your animals down here on the wharf, so that's pretty cool. So, as far as any added fruit types, all we have is sugarcane. Now, the sugarcane DLC will work on this map. He ensures that. He said it right there on his website. So that is good to know. And as far as added products, guys, there is no added products. Just basically what's in the vanilla version plus the sugar cane right here. So you can see that's basically all the same stuff. We have 11 selling points here. So 11, 11 different places you can sell your materials at. So that is really cool. Now let's jump back to the map here before we get too far ahead of ourselves. Go back to the map. Okay, now as far as field sizes, guys, now I'm not going to include these because these are forestry sections here. So basically the smallest field on the map is field 1 right down here, tiny little guy right here. This is 0 0.85 hectares and it's going to cost you $68,513. You already own that, but that's just, I'm just giving you a rough idea of, uh, of the prices. So yes. 0 0.85 hectares, 68,513, and the biggest field is field 12, right here, and this field is 6.67 hectares, and it will run you $540,388, so that's from your smallest to your biggest field, so that'll give you a rough idea what you're going to pay for your fields. So, let us go over, and we will look at your starting fleet now before we go on with the map. Okay, garage, you got a pretty decent 
starting fleet here. We have three Case 1455XLs. We have a JCB Fast Track 8000, front loading, attaching arm, and the bucket. We got a wheel loader, bucket, and a log fork for that. Looks like we have a semi, have a half decent uh, case harvester with a header, a header trailer. We have two small tippers. We get a cultivator, a plow, a cedar. Now, which one is which? This is a cedar. This is a cedar and fertilizer. Okay. Not used to these smaller ones. You get a weight as well. Is that a grass attachment? Jeez, I don't, I'm not really sure what that is. Yes, mowing attachment. I never, that's how much I'm familiar with that. Uh, that's a New Holland too. We wouldn't think it being red. But yeah, that's a, uh, a grass cutting attachment. And you get your pickup truck, of course. Get a stump grinder, a log trailer, and a uh, scorpion king to start off. So you can uh, start clear cutting right away. And a chainsaw. So let's begin our tour. And I want to start you right where we're at, basically. Now, this is your main farm. Look at the detail in this, guys. Unbelievable detail. There's your chickens right there. Fertilizer and seed pickup. Get some fuel over here. Now, everything looks kind of trashy and dumpy. What the object is with this map is you're going to have to do some cleaning up. Now, I'm not sure if you can clean up like debris like this, but I want to take you over here and show you something interesting about this island that you own. Now, you also have a place for placeables right here. It's kind of elevated. But you'll notice all this farmland here that you own. Do you notice that the fields are kind of covered with trees and grass? Believe it or not, there's fields under there, and what you're going to have to do is cut down all those trees, do some uh, do some major logging, clear all those trees, clear all those stumps, then you're going to get your plow out and you're going to replow your fields so they are able to uh, function as regular fields. Place to sell your slurry and digestate there as well. So yeah, you can basically see where your field is underneath there. You just have to basically get to it. So all this farmland on this island is going to be pretty useless until you get all this cleared but what a beautiful landscape eh? i thought that was really really nice but yeah it's good you got a little challenge ahead of you it wouldn't take an extremely amount a long amount of time to do that and uh one person could do that no problem and like i said you start with the scorpion king so you can get a start on that right away but yeah all these fields here are basically useless to you until you uh clear cut that land Got a windmill up here, you sell some product. Okay, let's go back down here. So you pretty much seen all your own island here. There's not really much to see selling point down here, and it's just a whole lot of uh, overgrown fields that you're gonna have to uh, fix up yourself. So yeah, you got a place for placeables here. I thought this was kind of cool here. You got like a boggy marshland coming through here, but uh, Check out the bridges and stuff, the way they connect. Now, I thought the, this looked really good graphically wise. You got this bog down area. You got this old rickety wooden bridge. Path of death. You got this old broken down pickup over here. It's been there for many, many years. Go up this old rickety road here. Because this is the way you're going to have to travel to get up here. Look at this. Got a couple of logs to uh, help support the so-called bridge. Uh, this guy looks like he had a pretty rough day. I uh, wouldn't want to be in that car when that happened. Uh, there's a log here blocking the road you're going to have to remove. A little bit of maintenance, a little bit of cleaning up to do. So basically, as far as your own fields over there, you're going to have to uh, clear cut the land, replow, remove the stumps, and possibly cut some trees and stuff. But isn't this great? Look how really detailed this is. It's all like very, very lush map. Thought it was fantastic. There's your Scorpion King parked down right on over the hill. So like I said, this is your main fern up here. There's your cow zone, your silos, your manure and your slurry. Pigs and sheep are right there. Got some vehicle parking over here as well. Looks like that uh, all lights up at night. I bet you that looks pretty cool at night. All the old wooden, wooden paneling on there. The, then you got this little uh, this little part here. Now I'm also going to leave a uh, link for a ferry boat, guys. 
I actually had that on here earlier and I forgot to put it back. Actually, I think I might go do that now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and bought my ferry boat. There it is there. You can indeed drive it on land because you got to get it to the shop to the water somehow, I suppose. And, uh, yeah, you can just plop that in the water wherever you want. Just kind of be careful where you put it because this is not meant for this map, but I would suggest it because there's little docking ports. So you can get your vehicles around this way too if you prefer. I uh, actually want to take you over to the shop show you where that's located. It's going to be under your miscellaneous section, and there it is there for $66,000. And you can cart vehicles around with this. So let's, uh, looks like we got a little launching area for ships here. So maybe we can get this guy in here. Very nice. Some nice ships down here. Now I'm just going to take this around to the other side and I'll meet you guys over there. Okay guys, I basically just took my ferry boat all around the map there. I just didn't want to uh, waste too much time getting it over here. But you can see that there's another little docking port over here as well. The ferry boat just seems to work right over here. You can see we already have our gates retracted. So, all we have to do is lower our ramp. Let's get rid of that there. Unfold barrier with the X button. You can see it's already up. Uh, and what one was to lower the ramp? It's probably with the, yes, with the mouse button. So there, you can see he's all ready to be loaded up there. I didn't notice that big curb there. Let's try to put this truck on there just for the heck of it. Without the trailer, of course. Yeah, I thought that was pretty neat, and I'm going to include the link for that ferry boat down below. In case you want to use it, you don't need it now. I just added it because I thought it would be kind of neat to see with this map, but like I said, it's not necessary. Can I get up? Oh, good, good, good. Look at this. <laughs> Look how awesome that is. Okay, back inside my ferry boat. Oh yeah, you can look inside the uh, little cab here too, inside the boat. Pretty cool. Okay, let's lift our ramps. Put down our gates. And we're off. Look at that. How cool is that, guys? Alright, I just wanted to show you that before we continued on with the tour. We're just south of the island that you stirred on there with all the fields you have to fix up. Here's another grass field that you own, but it's designated as G1 grass area, I take it. So you may be able to farm over this or just keep it as grass because I mean, grass is always a uh, good commodity to have. Here's a like a mini BGA here. Huh, that's cute. Just one little silage pit there and a grub above ground drop off. Look how awesome this map is laid out. Little construction zone going on down here. little community over here with a, uh, a shipyard there's where I took the boat down the first time because when you buy it your vehicles appear right here so first time I actually tried to nosedive them off the side here and that didn't do too well as you can see it's pretty shallow down there so we just ended up getting stuck but yeah you got this little port down here very cool got a couple little shops tucked in here and there looks like you can sell some vehicles there place to sell some eggs, little cantina very nice, you get this little island over here, you can sell eggs huh. you can see some people walking in around there taking a little lunchtime tour okay let's continue on you got a spinnery up over here on the other side of this little island that's where you're gonna take all your wool products yeah see the way this is laid out, just beautiful unbelievable so yeah, there's two bridges connecting it here. This is probably your best way up until you get this path clear. Because like I said, remember that you're going to have to move this log to uh, get up here. But yeah, there's your farm area there. So we already went over most of this stuff here. So let's go over to the spot we haven't seen. This is the spot where you're going to be doing most of your field buying. You do start with this one field though, and there's your combine right there on the header. So you got this one little field to start here, start you off. Up on the top of the hill here, we have another little bit of a farm where you can get some more seed and fertilizer. 
little uh, drop off silo there really nice map I really like the layout of this map I was very impressed so yeah here's all the fields that you're gonna wanna buy all spread across this island then we got Teddy's double straw up here good place to sell your straw products it looks like we got another little wharf there so yeah the uh, ferry boat might actually come in a little handy here we got this so uh, nice little bridge coming across here join this up to the uh, forestry area now you'll see there's oodles of forestry to be done here lots of grass in between those trees too to cut then you got this lumber mill here stuck in on the coast of this island very very nice come back on over here across this really cool looking bridge and here's another forestry section here you got two big islands full of forestry you can cut until your heart's content another little wharf area with some vehicle storage there's those little waterways I told you you could drive across with your vehicles now I'm going to demonstrate that in a minute kind of cool you can see that it's shallow enough there you're going to get the message warning on the screen showing you that uh you know you're getting into some deep waters but you could still drive across just kind of be careful that's all look at this there's a car on fire on this one <laughs> pretty neat indeed I like that look at these great looking roads and little caverns and ravines just wanted to demonstrate to you or for you with this uh, little pickup here that you can indeed cross the water there on those little uh, road at ways here right in between those pylons basically just kind of watch what you're doing you're going to get the warning come up on the screen more than likely I thought I seen it there last time but yeah you can drive across here so just take your time and you shouldn't run into any problems really cool I like that and there's three different spots you can uh, the one where the fire is there and so on and so forth but yeah this is a really nice map I really like the layout of this map a different feel to it okay let's go airborne again so basically all these pylon areas you you can't take your boat outside here you're gonna have to stay within these areas but yeah there's one roadway coming across there's another little island that uh, is in between the two big islands here but that's just a grain drop off one of your potential customers like I said you got all this forestry up here tons and tons of forestry as well as that island over there what a nice map eh I thought you guys would be impressed with it really nice flow really nice feel to this map and uh, a lot of uh, hard work and dedication went into this you can definitely tell okay let's bring it on back oh yeah check this out you got a big old bear here looking over the ravine <laughs> So yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a good little challenge, this map, because you start with this one island here that you own, and you're going to have to get all them fields up and running yourselves. So I like that little twist they put on it. So there you have it, guys. That was the Spectacle Island map, version 1.0. The file size for that is 416 megabytes. There's 21 fields on this map. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen, and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, my Patreon link is just below that. If you'd like to help and contribute to a smaller channel, it really helps out. So, until next time, guys, take care, and we'll see you all in the next one.